Okay, now we know how to select. It is time to copy or move items to another folder. Let me move it a little bit to the left. And I want to you know, move my mouse over the window. You can see that by going to the edge of this window, the mouse pointer is going to change to a double-headed double arrow. If I move this to, to the corner of this window, you can see this time the double-headed arrow has an angle. This means that if I click my left mouse button and hold it, I can resize my window any way I want. You can see that? Now if I want to resize it in one dimension, I can just move my mouse over the edge of this window. This way I can you know, resize it like this. If I move this to the bottom edge, I can just resize it like this. So it works on uh, all of these, you know, edges on top, on left, on down, and on right. But the best way is to move it to one of the corners. And this way you can see that the double-headed arrow has an angle. By having this angle, you can make sure that you can resize the window in all dimensions like this. Now I want to have it this way. I go down on my taskbar, right click on this file explorer, and this way the jump list is going to open. I go over file explorer and click on this. Another file explorer opens. I want to go and click on this title and move it to right like this. Now I have good, you know, view of both windows. On this second window, I go to Drive C, I right click on an empty space and go and select to create a new folder. I rename it to Folder 2. Now I have two folders. One of them is Folder 1 that is open in the left window. I click on the Folder 2 to open this in the right window. So I want to move some of the items from left window to the right window. How can I achieve this goal? First of all, I need to make a selection. Sometimes your selection is only one file. So you can just go over the file and hold your mouse still for some seconds. That's it. Now if I want to move it or copy it to the right window, I have multiple ways. I want to show all of them to you. That's very nice. So when I make my selection, I go to Home tab and you can see that copy and cut and copy path are all active. I want to copy this file. I want to have the original file here while creating an uh, while creating a copy of this file on the other uh, window. So I click on copy and go to the second window. This is folder two, and go and click on paste. As you can see. A copy of this file is going to be created in the destination folder. And you can see that the original file is intact. It is in its original place. I have just copied one of these files on the, to the other window. Now if I want to move the file to other window, how can I do that? For example, let me go to the first window and I want to select this Dropbox application. And now that I have selected this, I move my mouse over, or, you know, out of this area. And here I have cut. By clicking on cut, this file is going to be a little pale in its icon. You can see the icon is a little pale. That means that it is prepared to move to another place. Now I go to the next window and click on paste again here. You can see that. Dropbox is moved to the next uh, folder. Actually, it is cut from the first folder and pasted to the second folder. Or I can tell that it is deleted from the first folder and created in the second folder. So now you know what is the difference between copy and cut. Copy creates a duplicate of the item, cut just moves it deleted from the first place, deleted from the source folder, and paste it in the second folder. Now, 
you can have other options to copy and paste items from one folder to another folder. For example, I go over this folder, for example, EPUB, I click uh, my mouse and hold it, I do not release the mouse left button, and drag it. As soon as I drag it, you can see a shadow of the folder is moving. And if I move it enough, you can see that it goes to the second window. Now it tells me that I am moving this folder here. That means I am deleting from the first folder and creating in the second folder. I am removing this from my source and pasting it in destination. If I release my mouse, you can see that the move is down like this. And as I told you, it doesn't matter if you are moving a folder or a file. It is going to be like this. What if I want to copy one of these items in the second place? For this, let me go for, for example, this file that is uh, that its name is for. I press my left my mouse button and hold it. Now, if I move it, you can see a shadow of the file is going to move. I move it to the second folder like this. As you can see, it tells me move it to folder 2. But here, I press control button. And you can see that move is not enabled. Now it tells me, you can read it, copy to folder 2. If I remove my mouse button, I can see that the original file is intact. A copy of that is created on the second folder. So, when dragging a file, and drop it on the second folder. If you hold control mouse button, if you hold control button on your keyboard, a copy of the file is going to be created in the next folder. If you do not press control button, you are actually moving the file or folder to the second destination. So it doesn't matter if you have selected only one item or if you are moving multiple items. For example, I want to create a selection by creating a window selection like this. Now, if I want to move uh, move them, I need to be a little fast. You know, as soon as I hover my mouse over one of these, it is going to be, you know, uh, selected. I click my left mouse button and drag them to the right pane. As you can see, it tells me I am moving this to the second folder. So I click Control. As you can see, copy is enabled and release the mouse button. Okay, another thing is creating a shortcut. Now, you are not going to create shortcut too often, but you can do that. And what shortcut means, I want to show you. Drag one of these items to the second window, and before releasing this, press Alt button on your keyboard. And you can see it tells me create a link in folder 2. I release the mouse button. You can see there is a shortcut here. And you can see uh, an icon, it, uh, it shows you a little arrow. This tells me this is not the actual program. The actual program is a big program. You can see it is about 28 megabytes of data. But the shortcut is only 2 kilobytes. So this is not the actual item. It is a pointer to the item. If I click on this, actually, it means that I have clicked on this. They are not in the same place, but this one is a is a link, is a you know shortcut, is a pointer to the first item that resides in another in another folder. That's it. So now you know how to do this using dragging and dropping. And the third method, I want to show you how you can do this. The third method is using keyboard shortcuts. I want to select accounting folder here. If I press Ctrl and then press C, it means I have activated copy command. If I press Ctrl and press X, I have activated cut command. And if I go to the second folder, press Ctrl and press V, this means that I have activated paste command. Okay, now there's one more thing I want to talk about. That's 
when you are copying to a destination folder and a file with the same name exists on the destination folder. Here on the source folder you can see I have an item that is name is 3. The same item exists on the another folder and it has a name 3. It doesn't matter if these are the same pictures, the same folders or the same files, just the name is important. You can see that the name is the same in these two folders. Now if I want to copy this to the second folder, this window opens. It tells me that the destination already has a file named 3.jpg. It doesn't tell me that is, uh, if this is you know exactly the same file or not. If I want to see this I should go and click on compare info for both files and now you can see that it tells me yes they are the same because they are both uh, have the same thumbnail, they have the same amount of data, they have been created on the same date so I cancel this out. But here I can do two things. I can replace the second file the destination file or I can skip this file. If I skip this it is not going to be copied or moved to the next folder. If I replace it you can see the original file is going to be uh, replaced by the destination file. Actually the original file is going to be deleted. The destination file now is a copy of the first file that you have dragged from one folder to another folder. Now you know everything about copying, pasting, selecting, cutting, moving, everything. Now in next section I want to continue my discussion on File Explorer.